Can the Cardinals win a Super Bowl with Kyler Murray this year? Cassidy, yes, they can win a Super Bowl with Kyler Murray this year. And you just mentioned 1947. And I can just imagine, like, just the mere mentioning of that probably made Mad Dog exactly. super excited this morning. Because, <laughs> exactly. you know, he loves that black and white film. Love so, when, I, when I'm talking about... When I'm talking about Kyler Murray, it, you talk about his talent, right, and what he's able to do as a quarterback with his arm and with his legs. And contrary to popular belief, he has carried the Arizona Cardinals over the past three years, and he's carried them to a place where they are a viable Super Bowl contender. Now, De DeAndre Hopkins getting suspended early in the year is not the greatest thing for him in his career, but it might be the best thing that ever happened to the Cardinals, and here's why. It's going to give them an opportunity to figure out how how to run their offense through other people, whether that be Zach Ertz and Trey McBride, the tight ends, James Conner, the running back, Marquise Brown, the wide receiver, or the other receivers that they have at their disposal there in Arizona, including a sleeper, Antoine uh, Wesley, Tweezy, as we called him when he was in Baltimore with us. They have to figure out how to get things done without only throwing the ball to DeAndre Hopkins. So it's also going to allow D-Hop to be healthy late in the year when they need him the most. And I think those are things that are being overlooked a little bit because Kyler, on his own, has been able to go out there and put up pretty decent numbers with his arm and with his legs and help the Cardinals win games. Now it's going to be on Cliff Kingsbury early in the year to figure out a different way to get things done without D-Hop being there. I mean, I, I have – listen, I don't think they can, but I have no uh, – I agree with a lot of things that you're saying. This is a very talented football team, and sometimes you become too codependent on one player and allows you to, to, to let the football go where it's supposed to go and where the defense dictates it goes. But that's my one issue that I have with right. this team, the defense. You talk about J.J. Watt, who was brought in to get that interior presence, that leadership. He can't stay healthy in recent years. That's a big thing because you need somebody to try and get to the quarterback – also, losing Chandler Jones, you, you know, they mentioned that they were working on this extension for, for the year. Well, that's because they didn't bring back Chandler Jones, and that's the reason why they didn't bring back Chandler Jones, who I believe is one of the best pass rushers in recent history. I get concerned that Isaiah Simmons haven't really graduated yet to be that dominant player. He, he was advertised as being like the next, next Swiss Army knife, but he hasn't been able to be dominant like Michael Parsons came in year one. So I, I worry about that defense, and I look on the, in that division, and even though they have a rookie quarterback or a second-year quarterback without a lot of experience, we know that the San Francisco 49ers are going to be a tough out with that running game, defense, play calling, and the right. weapons they have. And then we have the reigning Super Bowl champs that just gets better. They add Bobby Wagner to a linebacker position that really struggled to stop the run at the second level. Now he's one of the best to ever do it, a bona fide Hall of Famer. That's the gauntlet in which that Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals have to go through, and I don't think they yeah. can go through it this year, especially if they don't get off to a fast start learning how to live life without DeAndre Hopkins for the first six weeks. They can't get off to a slow start. We're accustomed to them always getting off to a head start, a fast lead, the last team to lose a game. Right. But if they get off to a slow start, I think it's just going to be too much to overcome, and I think it's going to fall on the, on the hands and at the feet of that defense. Yeah, Bart, I would say that, that the Cardinals do have a lot to go through, but every team does, whether you're in the NFC or the AFC, to get into the party. But the thing that really encourages me about the Cardinals is what we've seen the last two years from Super Bowl winners. The, the Los Angeles Rams, they weren't the best team in the league. Matthew Stafford led the league in interceptions. The defense was ranked 15th, middle of the pack, and they had the 25th ranked rushing attack. The Tampa Bay Bucks, when they won it, they didn't even win their division, and they got the playoffs and they won games when it mattered and found a hot streak so I think for the Cardinals the main focus just like for every other team in the league is to just get in the tournament get in the tournament and then make sure you're playing your best football in December January and February that alone is going to give them an opportunity to win the Super Bowl with a dynamic playmaker at quarterback like Kyler Murray so you got to look at this thing from a holistic standpoint and understand that it's not always the best team that mm -hmm. wins the Super Bowl, it's the team that's playing the hottest at the right time. Well, can Kingsbury figure out a way? Because it seems like the league is kind of caught up and he has to adjust to their adjustment. And can Kyler Murray stay healthy, right? Because if he's, if he's out there and he's improvising, he's putting himself at risk you know, early on in the season. So they have to figure out how to get to the second half of the season 
healthy and hope that DeAndre Hopkins comes back and he's able to be reacclimated and they have to adjust to that adjustment as well. You know, it's just, you know, when you look at them, they're the third best team within that division. And yes, every team has, you know, a battle uphill. But when it, when it comes down to that, I go to quarterbacks. And not all quarterbacks are created equally. I know you say that he's a top 10 quarterback. I beg to differ just a little bit. I have him slightly outside of the top 10. But when you look at guys that are on a mission, you look at A.A. Ryan, you look at, like, he'll have to go somewhere, especially if they don't win that division, and go play in a hostile environment. And they haven't shown that they can take that show on the road yeah. in the postseason. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.